Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the pit. We're back here again, journeying ever deeper. We've made it down 13 floors so far, we're not even halfway yet. But someday we'll get down to the bottom. If we have any say in the matter, let's go take a look what happens in the next floor. I'm sure there's all kinds of nasty things right there. Yep, there is. We have a stone mole over here who likes to dissolve our equipment by spitting at us. Medium security bot. Disease bear. And a crazy Tarkin, which means that all kinds of nasty things are about to go down. What we are going to do is we are going to chug another one of our energy drinks, which boost our speed, our health regeneration, and also our hunger. So we're going to go one, two, and gun her with the mag pistol. Hopefully we can kill them in the next action. Good. Now we need to switch over to our energy carbine. There we go. Laser carbine. Kill that sucker. We have the high damage piercing on it, which is nice. Should kill him next shot, so we're going to make sure we switch over to the auto pistol to kill him with this instead so we don't waste another big damage attack. We have the stone mole here who needs to die, because if we attack him with a close combat weapon, he's probably just going to spit acid on us, and that wrecks all of our stuff. I don't really like having that happen, so we're going to make sure he dies a more painful way. Here we go, rotate around. Now he's dead. That's good. And now we need to kill the disease bear. And unfortunately, backing up into this hallway is probably going to trigger more enemies to attack us. But you know what? We'll just have to deal with that when it happens, or if it happens. Because it looks like maybe it won't. Eh, it's just it will. There are more robots up there trying to attack us. And I accidentally attacked before I moved, which is not great, because we're probably going to get mauled now. No, we're good. And that is another security bot. You need to die, my friend. These guys get much tougher as the areas progress, because he's taking more than one, more than two salvos of pistol rounds now, whereas they used to die in one single salvo. But that's just the progression of the game. If things didn't get harder, it would be too easy. Kill off that little bot. There we go. Repair our pistol. Is there something else out here? No, I can hear something else moving, though. I don't know where. There it was. Hello. Fast response bot. Mag pistol for you. Thank you very much. You're not dead yet somehow, so we'll move right up to you and slash you here with our blade. You still survived. Go, go, go. There we go. More... Uh, whatever that was. <laughs> Bits of scrap and whatnot. That's fine. Okay, we can come over here and make more energy drink if we want. I am still waiting on finding mutagens so we can actually make steroidal enhancers, but until we find any of those, I'm not too worried about actually using these cookers. There's some more fat strips we can try and make. That other thing we heard about earlier, I don't exactly know what it does, but it sounds interesting. More fat strips. More cybernetic brains, which will be user useful if we ever find logic circuits that will be able to turn into those uh, identifying chips, which are definitely a helpful item to have. We're in the top right corner of the map, so we really should go over here first, because otherwise we're going to have to walk all the way back in order to see what's actually in here. The answer is probably it's full of robots, but we have to open it and find out. Yes, it's full of robots. What a surprise! Let's gun down this guy with the mag pistol. It's a pretty effective way of dealing with these guys, and then we'll take the auto pistol to finish him off. Mag pistol go. Now uh, these don't look like they have much of a chance of one-shotting these light security bot Mark II's anymore. Hello. Okay. We're going to make sure this one dies, and then we'll move on to the big one. Now, big one, you're going to get some more laser carbines, maybe? I don't, I don't know if we really need them on this guy, honestly. We can probably make do with just the pistol. Let's see how much damage it does. It's about 9. That's not great. If we take the laser carbine, I believe it does about 20. Yeah, that's, that's much better. Try that again. I should kill him. No, we didn't. There's another one! No, go away! You're not welcome here. I don't want to have to deal with two of you right now. Alright, thankfully we can just switch back to the laser carbine and keep frying him with this thing. It's pretty darn effective dealing with these big robots. But, ugh. He's not taking too much damage either. He's only doing a 15 per shot. Thankfully, he's dead now, because we can have one more time and he'll go down. There we go. That's nasty stuff, though. We took a lot of damage there. Wasted a lot of charges out of our big guns. Hopefully there's stuff in here that makes it worthwhile, though. There is a weapons locker. Let's see what we have inside. Another laser pistol. That's not too great. It does not help us particularly much. We can try and repair this repair station. Hello, you're going to interrupt me. Yep. So there we go. Our task was interrupted. Nothing bad happened, really, but we got interrupted. We can try again. It takes the same number of turns as if we hadn't started it before. And we succeeded. Awesome. Get anything good here? Not really. Nothing needs to be repaired that badly. The mag pistol's getting low, but we also don't have a whole lot of ammo for it. I might just get rid of it at some point soon. We'll see, though. It's hard to get. It's hard to justify getting rid of those things, because they are very helpful. Ay ay ay. Okay, we can't make anything useful here. That's too bad. We will have to open up some associated doors, and then head back out again. 
Gotta get that experience, and it's very silly of you to leave doors locked anyway. You can close them if you don't want to have to deal with enemies that are behind them, but getting that experience is pretty significant, so there's no real reason to not do it. We're getting a bit low on pistol rounds, though, which is a bit concerning. If we do run out, we're going to be hard-pressed to keep fighting some of these enemies. Hopefully we find some more soon. Of course, we do have laser pistols and plenty of energy cells to use with them, so if we really need to, we have alternative me we we alternative methods of doing damage, but it's still not ideal. The auto pistols are quite nice because of the fact that they do shoot twice, so we have plenty of ammo for them, for now, and the fact that they have a pretty decent range to them. If we do start needing to use rifle ammo and shotgun ammo... Oh, no. Von Neumann probes are evil. They are just plain evil. We need this thing to die. I might try and use an EMP grenade or a more powerful grenade on it. These things are evil, though. They fire disintegration lasers at you. If they hit you, they disintegrate one of your things. Please don't! Oh, didn't do it. Okay, we're okay. Die. No, no, just, just, just stop moving. Die and stop moving. Okay, he's dead. Whoo! You see he disintegrates himself, too, when he dies. Those things are nasty. Really nasty. You don't want to have to deal with those if you can help it. Von Neumann probes are one of those enemies that just... And I see them, I panic. <laughs> I've lost so many good things to them. I've also heard they have a potential to insta-kill you as well, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. Ugh. Nasty things. Nasty things. At least it's dead now, so it's fine. Hopefully we'll find one of my favorite weapons during this run. I have two favorite weapons so far. There's a normal sword. I might swap my blade for this. It's basically a slightly more damaged version of the Durablade, I believe. Less durability, but it hits a wider area. So that could potentially be a problem if there's enemies that are beside things I want to protect. But it does mean you can hit more than an enemy, well, more than one enemy with a single swipe. So we'll probably, probably try and pick something else, drop something else to pick it up so we can see what it actually does. My goodness, words are not on my side today. Okay, activate this repair station as well, see if we can't get it up to working order. Most of this stuff we're doing just for the experience, because it's always nice to get these things working. Same with unlocking all the doors. We don't really need to open up every single door, but it helps you in the long run, because you do get that additional uh, skill out of it, additional experience. So we're going to drop the Durablade here temporarily. This is a 50 accuracy, 8 damage, 55 penetration item. And we'll pick up the sword, which is slightly less durability, but does 10 damage, 60 penetration, less accuracy. I think we'll keep this anyway. It's a pretty nice weapon. The sweeping effect on it is pretty good, and it does hurt harder than the Durablade does. So we'll take the sword with us, and hello down there. You thought I didn't see ya. We'll equip our sword and the hotkeys. That's good. And laser carbine, I think. Hello, robot. I have plenty of lasers for you. I probably shouldn't be wasting this on these early enemies, because we do run across some really nasty things later on down the line, but I'm okay with using it right now. Hopefully, we find some better gear later on, and we'll be able to upgrade to some much more heavy firepower. But that, of course, depends on what we actually wind up finding. By the way, if someone hides behind the UI, and you can't actually attack them, you can hit H to hide it. Hit H again to make it reappear, but that means you can easily target people who are like behind the health bar and that kind of thing, behind your auto pistol sign or whatever makes it a bit easier to actually attack all of your different enemies, depending on whatever's going on. So, this is going to be a dead Tarkin soon. we got a sword ready to test out on them. There we go. Of course, it immediately gets damaged, but whatever. More robots. This is a... There's so many robots here. Come on. All right. We can tank the bullets without too much trouble. Oh, come on now. Don't be missing. There we go. The low accuracy could start to be a problem, but we have a bunch of blade skill now, especially because we got that big boost from that Tarkin headband thing. So that helped quite a bit. We should be able to hit people pretty often with it. Ouch! Don't do that to me. That's not very nice. Exploding on me, damaging everything in my inventory. Okay. I'll grab this. I get. Hello! Oh, look at all these enemies. There's just enemies everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. You need to hurry up and die. So do you. You all need to hurry up and die. I have a sword right with your name on it. And we'll back up and shoot the hyper here with our mag pistol. Ouch. Shoot him again. Oh, come on now. You need to die. Oh, I shot the floor. How did I do that? That was stupid. All right. One of the things about shooting into your blind spot is that if you shoot a place that has nothing in it, you're still going to shoot at it. So if you accidentally shoot like I did at something that's nothing, just an empty tile on the floor, you will shoot at it and you will waste attacks. So try and avoid doing that if at all possible because it feels pretty stupid when you do. There we go. More dead enemies. We are quite low on health. Ouch. I might heal up soon, because we're getting a bit of damage here. Let's hit them with another magnetic shot. There you go. You should go down now. You're going to run away. It's fine. And now you're dead. 
reload. Ow, no, don't destroy my nice things. What we need to do is we're going to try and use a Terran medkit because they're pretty garbage. And if we can get a bit of health from that, we'll be okay. Don't shoot. Okay, good, you're shooting me. I'm okay with you shooting me. That's fine. Shooting the stuff in the room that I want to collect is not fine. You need to die. Don't. Okay, good. Still shooting me. I'm okay with this. Don't. No! Don't break these things. I need them. Good. And there's a moon bear behind me. Hello, moon bear. We're going to back up a little bit. Reload a little bit. Turn around. Hello, moon bear. You are going to give me some trouble, aren't you? I have a feeling you definitely are. Yes, you are. Ouch. Ouch. Thankfully, he hasn't grabbed us yet, so we're doing okay. We're going to actually chug another one of our energy drinks, the last one we have currently made, because that'll let us out-distance this moon bear, and we can deal with him like that. There we go. Dead moon bear. Good. Oh, moon bears. Okay, we'll get in this medical locker. More hivers, apparently. Let's back up again and shoot the hiver. Get out of here, clone workers. We won't have to deal with you right now. Good. Dead bugs. I like dead bugs. 99% on the medical locker, and there's more nanomeds. Nanomeds are great, and we're definitely going to stockpile those, because they're much, they're very useful later on. They don't take up a lot of space, they give you instant healing at a pretty decent amount, whereas these things, which also give you instant healing, are humongous and take up a huge amount of your inventory. Let's use up more of these medical kits, because they give us pretty low amounts of health. We can pretty much use a full one of these before we need to stop anyway. There we go. That is good. That'll give us what we need. Now we can hold on to that level up a little bit. What do we see here? There's another area below us and some stuff up, ab up above. There's the exit. All right, well, that's something. What's in this freezer? Something good. I hope more hyper cheese would be excellent. No, two moldy breads, though. Five moldy breads. I'll take it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Open down, down these doors. Nothing. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's people hiding all over the place here. Get shot. Get over here. All right. That worked. So I could have been doing that earlier instead of using the laser carbine, but hey, whatever. Waste not, waste time. There we go. Kill more of these guys. I know it's not the same goes, whatever. It's not waste not, want not, because I do want them, but it's no fun if you don't waste them sometimes. Can we clear out this door trap with our sword? Probably not the best plan, because it doesn't have as much durability as our Durablade, but one of these days it's going to go down. There we go. All right, now we can get in here safely and get whatever's in this one. Anything in this freezer? Hyper cheese, please? No, just some normal food. We can take that food. We'll probably eat it and then dump it. We can definitely destroy those pistol rounds. We don't need those. We'll drop the moldy food for now, and we'll grab the Kura Oat Mix and the Soul Force Rations and eat those. Kutar Oat Mix is just food. I don't think it does anything. You can eat it, though. And we will grab the moldy breads as well. Excellent. So that's us pretty well equipped now. There's one more, at least one more room to go check out for this floor. Let's go see what's up there. We are still using our last of our energy drinks. Oh, there's a bunch of rooms up here. That's interesting. What's in the radiation room? Hmm, nothing. Surprisingly enough. All right, well, let's check out the chem pod, see if we can't get anything out of that without spraying chemicals all over our bodies. And we might get some nice stuff. What do we get? Nothing. It's just a trap. Right, I was thinking of a biopod. That's fine. Storage pod. Anything in these ones? I'm surprised there's no enemies around here, although I'm not really surprised, because we did just fight all of the enemies on the map a minute ago. <laughs> here we go. Open this up. More molecular neutronium. Another not-so-useful item, unfortunately. All right. We can go in this room, then. Lots of places to explore. Lots of goods to steal. Another good thing... Oh, you're interesting. The leperoid. The leperoid is kind of strange little entity in this game. It was really out of, uh, out of place. It was added during the Easter update, and it's basically a bunny that drops eggs. Candy and chocolate eggs when you kill it. So that's a, a thing that happens in this game for some reason. Hello. And he attacks like seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight attacks. Why he attacks eight times? I mean, never know, but he does. We're going to shotgun this leperoid. Get out of here. That's a fun little gun, actually. <laughs> You don't normally get to shoot three times super fast. Doesn't do a lot of damage, though. What's the actual damage number on it? The eight. That's pretty bad for shotgun shells. They're normally really high damaging. But it's fun, so that's okay. And let's kill this bunny. He's going to attack us another eight times, which is not so great, but that's fine. And he'll drop us some delicious chocolate candy eggs. No, he didn't. You jerk of a bunny. I was all excited to get some eggs from you, but he didn't drop anything. All right, well, let's open up this stasis pod, see if we can't get in here and see if it's full of bears. It is, in fact, full of bears, what'd I tell you? All right, let's back up here and shoot this bear. He's going to come at us in a second, so we're going to have to try and take as many free pot shots as we can before he grabs us. Let's just knife him. 
He's going to be biting us, and that's okay. We can't run away now because we've been grabbed, but that's okay. I'm not too worried. We should be able to take him out without too much trouble. There we go. Took a bit of damage. We do have a level up waiting anyway, so it's not like it's the end of the world. And this is an interesting thing. These are recycling bins. They basically never have anything good in them, but very rarely you can get awesome items out of them. They're superconductors. We'll take those. The uh, I'm not entirely sure how they work, but you basically get a random crafting item, I think, out of them. But sometimes they're pretty good stuff in there. We'll eat our Qatar oat mix, thank you very much. There we go. And they have triggered an alarm, so whatever's left on this map is going to come charging at us in a second. What are you? There's nothing in here either. What a weird map. I was expecting a lot more stuff here, but it looks like there's not a lot left, actually. It might be pretty much in the clear. Ah, mutagens! I was waiting for those. Good. We might, be actually be, might actually be able to make some steroidal enhancers, which will help with our might situation. And another bio mod for our armor. We'll probably want to take those as well. Because if we combine vitamins, mutagens, uh, one of these, an exotic protein, and something else, I can't remember what, I think it's a scent gland, you can make yourself some steroidal enhancers, which are quite nice for keeping yourself alive. Especially because they give you some lovely benefits to your strength and inventory capacities. Okie doke, what are we going to get rid of? What do we get rid of? I guess the gun parts aren't really necessary at this point. We don't, have any the, well, we don't have any of the other parts needed to actually make something out of them. So we'll just drop them here for now. And instead, that'll let us take the armor bio mod. There we go. This looks like the top of the map, too. So this is a bit bigger than I expected, but not so big that we can't easily explore it. We may have to stop doing two, ep two floors per episode soon, depending on how big the floors actually get. But I will try and keep that up for now, because it is kind of nice to be able to do more than one floor. Either way, it's time to head down to the next floor and see what we see, I guess. What do we got here? We did just get the ingredients to make the steroidal enhancers. Is there a working lab somewhere? There's one way over there. That's a bit far off, though. Hopefully we'll be able to get one that's a bit closer and use that instead. On the next floor! We have made it to floor 15! This is the halfway mark. If we can get through this floor, we've officially made it halfway through the pit. Whew! This is a purple area, too, which is kind of fun, but can we make it down? We'll have to wait and find out, I guess. I'd love to get different guns, though. Ugh, whatever. We're going to gun these guys down. Hopefully they won't be able to hurt us too much. A strangler and a light security bot, not too big a deal. The shotgun would be kind of nice to have at this point, but we still don't have one, so we'll make do without. We are getting really low on pistol rounds, though, which is not good, and I probably should have knifed him there to save some, but hey. Give us pistol rounds, please. Yay, pistol rounds. And another weapon bio mod. All right. Hopefully one day we'll be able to actually see what those do, because then we'll be able to use them. What's in this crate? We have nothing in that crate. Awesome. And where are we on the map? We're in the bottom left-hand corner again. That's good. That'll mean we'll not get too badly swamped. Hello there. This is a contaminated bat, which I believe gives you radiation poisoning if it attacks you. Yes, it does. It gives you 15 radiation. That's not the end of the world, because those little amounts of radiation poisoning do go away over time. But it's still not the most pleasant thing to accumulate. Get knifed. There we go. And that slash hit both of those guys, which is why we have the sword in the first place. And there's more robots coming. I'm going to shoot at you. And I'm going to shoot at you again now with my other pistol. Got to vary up the ways I'm attacking you. There we go. More pistol rounds is good as well. We can kill off these enemy... Oh, hello. You're not so nice. I don't like these voracious Zul pups. So we're going to kill them. And... Oh, no. There's a laser enemy behind me. Probably some kind of... Met oh, no. I let myself get attacked by a Protean. No, that's bad. Bad Protean. Bad. We're going to mag pistol you to make sure you die. There we go. That's not fun. I don't like taking inventory damage, because it's no there's no reason for it most of the time. There we go. More dead Proteans. More dead fast response bots. And more dead maintenance bots. At least they will be dead in a second. Huzzah! I find it kind of funny that we're using swords to fight in a world where laser weapons are pretty much common. But you know what? That's kind of cool, too. Grab the rest of the pistol rounds here. Oh, I can't grab the rest of those. Hmm. I might have to make some inventory space for them. But for now, I'll just leave them on the floor. Okay, there is a armory over here and some kind of storage room down here. Storage room might be useful. They might have some good stuff in here. And it's full of robots! I should have guessed. Thankfully, we can kill robots, so it's not too scary. Dead robots. Is there anything else in here? Anything following us? Nope. There is an ammo crate, though, which is, in fact, an adaptoid. All right, then, adaptoid. You think you're going to outsmart me? Not today. I'm going to fill you full of bullets. Of course, you're probably going to... There we go. I was going to say, you're probably going to get close enough to attack me before I kill you, but apparently that's not the case. All right, let's open up this armory door and see what's inside, if we actually can. The interesting thing about these uh, letter-based locked doors is they can be very hard to unlock sometimes. 
be using the carbine for this, I think. But yeah, some of them can be very hard to unlock. The later letters in the Greek alphabet can be quite nasty. For example, Eta doors and Zeta doors, I think, are the hardest ones in the game. Even with a very, very high lockpicking skill, they're almost always a 1% chance to unlock. So they're pretty nasty. We're going to hopefully not find too many of those, though. Generally, I find you don't find them until the very, very end of the game. But we'll talk more about that if we actually manage to get there. Slash up some more waste management bots, because I don't really want to get hit with their nasty radiation attacks. And we hit this anyway. What was that I just saw? Did you see a protein spawn in here? There was nothing in here. And for some reason, it lit up that room for a sec. I... That was weird, man. That was weird. I thought I saw something in there. I don't know what it was. That was weird. Either way, we're going to kill this stone mole and then not worry about it anymore. Alright. Can't hit him with that anymore. Alright, can we actually switch to something else? I could switch to the other auto pistol, I guess. Or we could just reload. <laughs> I kind of want to start using different ammo, though, because we're going to be running out of this pistol ammo soon. Either way, that stone mole's in trouble. There we go. He's dead. Didn't manage to spit at us, which is nice, because that is never fun. And that is another dead bot. Okay. What's in here? Probably more nasty things. Is there anything... Oh, there's a lab in here. That's good. Sounds like there's something outside. Because every time we try and... Oh, there it is. Hopkinite. Every time we tried to move there, the game would freeze up for a minute because the enemies were taking their turn. So we'll just laser gun this Hopkinite until he dies, and then we don't have to worry about him. Hopefully he won't try and confuse us, so we won't have to deal with that, and he'll just die peacefully. There we go. Dead Hopkinite. Lots of experience. Hopkinites give you humongous experience. There's still something moving around out there. What is it? Oh, hello. It's just a little pup. That's okay. We can knife him to death, no problem. There we go. Don't have to waste any ammo on him. Oh, it's not just a little pup. There's a bunch of guys out here. Hello. All right, well, we can shoot them. That's fine. Don't have to worry too much about it. And one more slash should kill this guy. There we go. He did drop a key, which is not great. Why are there so many guys over here? Where did you all come from? It was nice and peaceful and quiet over here until you all decided to rush me. All right. Knife this guy. Thank you. And we will grab our reloads. Sheesh! Well, can't take any more of that ammo for now, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to come back in this side and see if we can't get any more free stuff from this area. Armor Locker, do you have anything interesting for me? Armor Mods is fine. Nope, more ceramic plate armor. Do not need that. It is not good enough to replace our chitin armor. More pistol rounds. That's always good. We only got 22 that time, so there's more in there. Probably not too many more, but there's definitely some. More vitamins. That'll be useful for making more uh, steroids later. Can we make some steroidal enhancers now, please? Is that actually a kitchen thing? I thought we had all the parts for it. Steroidal enhancers, what do I need? What am I missing? Where were they? Yeah, they are a kitchen thing. Huh. Well, that's silly of me. All right, well, that's fine. We'll have to go back and get that later then, I guess. I thought it was a lab thing, but apparently not. I'm going to try and grab this ammo, though, because that's always good to have. If you actually use vitamins, it's interesting. They give you a reduction on the next disease odds. So people who can inflict you with diseases when they attack you have a higher chance of not doing so. But uh, they're much better if you put them into the steroidal enhancers, because anything that boosts your actual stats, especially your might, is definitely worthwhile. Can we get rid of anything here easily? I kind of want most of these items for various reasons. The... C Kozanti Brie I could probably use pretty easily, though. There is an a recipe I've been trying to get to use with them, but I think I've gotten rid of most of the other parts, so we'll just eat the Brie. That'll give us some health back and some food back, too. So that's good. And we can pick up the more rifle rounds, pistol rounds, rather. Not a whole lot of them, but it's something. And we might as well go back up here, actually. We're going to go back to the previous floor for a minute. Because if we do this, there are cooking stations right over here, so we're going to come over here and make up some steroidal enhancers with them. And that will be much beneficial to us. There we go. Steroidal enhancers, where are you? There you are. Add our ingredients. We only make one because we only have one mutagen and only one uh, exotic protein as well. Oh, low chance of success. Only 66. Please work. Please work. Yes, good. We have a steroidal enhancer. These are a big item. They fill up two spots in your inventory. But we're going to be using them pretty much right away, I believe. Yeah, 96% chance of success. Use those. Might increase by one. Not great, but it's definitely something, so that's fine. It's like a whole level up worth of might bonus. The thing about steroidal enhancers is if you're not good enough at the medical skill, I believe it actually does brain damage to you if you uh, fail to use them properly. So you don't want to be using them if you can't succeed, but they're really good if you can succeed with them. Okay, more dead humans, more moldy bread. That's what we like to see, dead people and bread. 
What else we got here? A huge floor still to explore. This is gonna be a long episode, I think. We might have to start doing that uh, only one floor per episode thing soon, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Kill off these nasty worms. Let's see what we can find. Some cages, some med systems. Can I open you? Yes, I can. And a protean behind us. Hello. Ouch, my equipment damage. Ah. Kill him. We missed. That's not good. He's gonna attack us again. Ah. No. Die. Thank you. Are there more of you around? I don't know. I can hear things. There's another Terran Turkins Field Surgery, which we might want to take soon, but I think we're just going to level up now, because we're getting about halfway to 13, yeah. Level up the Might again, and what are we going to do? Foraging, three points, yes. Blade, two points, not bad. Uh, Lockpick, three points, good. Three in Electronics, three in Mechanical, one in Computer, and one in Pistol, and one in Rifle. That was not bad. Got a bunch of good, good level ups in there. Not some amazing ones, but some good ones. Okay. What else do we want to do here? I really want to get these things identified so I can get them out of my inventory. They take up so much space. I had one game where I had like 20 different of those different kinds of mods. It was ridiculous. Half of my inventory was stuff I could never use. Okay. There's a med bay there that we could potentially, excuse me, potentially get use out of. Although we'll have to see what it actually has in it. I'll come back to this room later, most likely. Hello there, crazy people. You and your shotguns. Just drop a shotgun for me. That'd be really nice, actually. Just, yeah, just drop it. I can pick it up. You don't need it anymore. You're dead. Robots? Nope. Worms. All right. Well, kill the worms. Kill the stranglers. Hello, there's a robot. I picked the wrong target, but I still managed to hit him. That's the nice thing about the swords. They have a nice spread to them. Hurry up and die. I could stop doing this and kill the guy who's shooting me, but I'm just going to keep slashing at this uh, strangler instead. And I'm okay with that. Keep slashing the worms. Stop trying to move around to hit me. I'm trying to busy slashing worms here. Get these worms. Okay, that's much better. All right, now I should really deal with these robots, shouldn't I? Okay. I could probably... Let's test out the laser pistol on them. We'll equip our laser pistol. It has pretty decent penetration. Not quite as much as a laser carbine. The damage is also not quite as good. It does uh, four damage less. But that's fine. We'll try this on them. We have a ton of ammo for it anyway. Lasers! It actually does a pretty decent amount of damage, though, which is quite nice. And given that it uses a completely different kind of ammo from everything else we have... Oh, I tried to change gun there, and it wouldn't let me. It's pretty decent to use, so we should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. We are taking a whole pile of damage, but I'm not too worried, because there are med bays back there that we can go back and use easily if we need them. This guy should die pretty soon. He might take one more shot. Nope, there we go. Perfect. And more stinking worms. Okay. Plenty of things we can pick up. Good. Now, the laser pistol is like the other laser weapons. If you try and reuse them, they will immediately waste any unused shots. So we generally don't want to be wasting them if we can at all. What is this? <gasps> is that a lightsaber? It's a lightsaber. I need that. I've never seen this before. This looks amazing. Give me the lightsaber right now. <laughs> Why is there a lightsaber? <gasps> That's amazing. That's so cool. It's actually a lightsaber. It takes a charge. It uses energy cells to power it. An ancient Morrigi weapon that uses gravity control to manipulate a laser beam into a steady blade. Very powerful and able to cut through the heaviest armors with relative ease. 150 penetration. That looks amazing! I have to use this. I have to. That's hilarious. Wow. I've never seen that before. That's the best. Alright. <laughs> that made my game. All right, we might, we might take the sword with us, because this thing only has 20 durability, but and it, and it uses power as well, but that's hilarious. If we equip it, what does it take? 10 charges, so it is fairly expensive to use, actually. It'll burn through our, uh, our batteries pretty quick, but that's too funny. That is too funny. All right, well, that's amazing. What are we going to swap out to take that with us? I guess we'll burn a whole uh, stack of rifle rounds, because we can't use them anyway. Probably is the best plan. Is there anything else I can get rid of that I don't really need? I kind of want the lifter pack, too, so I still need this. I'm surprised we haven't found any nano thread yet. Hmm. Strange that. What else can I get rid of? I guess I can drop the giant mitochondria as well. And I don't really need antibodies anymore, so I'll drop those, too. That will let us take the other sword as well, and then we can keep our laser sword and our normal sword. But that is hilarious. We just got a lightsaber. That's amazing. We can recharge our data assistant, which is good. We're not going to use this thing, because this security station here unlocks all the doors on the floor. So just like getting that other key, it doesn't actually necessarily help you all that much if you get it. But that's amazing! I'm so happy we found that thing. 
Those are stimulants, we might pick those up in a second. Those give you the opportunity to get rid of status effects, which becomes very helpful in the bottom of the, the lower levels of the dungeon because you can get things like blind effects all the time, which are really nasty. We're gonna drop these cybernetic brains that, oh, destroyed them by mistake, because we don't really need 13 of them at the moment, but that's fine. All right, that's amazing though, I'm so happy. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Up until now, my favorite of the uh, sword-type weapons is called the Vorpal Blade. It's pretty sweet, and it may still be my favorite over the lightsaber, just because it doesn't use any it doesn't use any charge. It has 120 penetration, does something like 12 damage, has a reasonably high accuracy, but doesn't use any battery, so it's pretty darn sweet. But this is pretty hilarious, and I can't give this anything anything less than my full attention until I find out exactly how it works. We'll drop these servos too, I don't need those at the moment, and we'll pick up the weapon biomod, because eventually that might become useful. Storage pod, open up. What do we have in here? More nothing. Alright, can we fix this damaged med bay? Probably. Not necessarily, it's only a set, uh, 3 and 4 chance, but we did fix it, and that's good, we got some health out of it. Can we get some more health out of it, please? Yes, excellent. <sighs> oh, it was a full heal, that's so unfortunate. If it says fully heals you, it fills you heals you maximum no matter what, and if it only does a heal, it'll heal you some random amount of damage. Okay, working our way towards the right south, right side of the map. We're gonna try and laser sword this guy, I think. Eat lasers! That's pretty funny. Alright. We need a gun down. I should probably bring the sword back for use against most people, but I don't know. It's pretty hilarious to have that thing on hand. Those are normal grenades, which are quite good. They're a little bit lower rain, like a little bit lower splash damage than most of these things. But that can actually be useful if there's a lot of things you actually want to be able to use or recover nearby. I think we're going to destroy that binding, so we're going to hold a new slot for one binding. We're going to take the... Ooh, how are we going to do this? We're going to put the sword in this slot, laser sword in that slot. We're going to put the auto pistol in this slot, and the mag pistol in that slot. There we go. I don't think we're going to be using this thing too much. The pepper box, maybe against big proteans, that might be useful then. But the fact you have to reload it every time is really lame for that use. I don't know, we'll see. We will take the grenades though, because those will be useful later, no doubt. Hello there, clone worker. You're going to die. Thank you. Don't want to deal with you right now. Sword, dead. Awesome. I have to use some of my new hotkeys though, otherwise I'm going to be trying to pick the laser sword instead of the pistol all the time. Hello, protean. I just talked about you. I wasn't going to have to use anything until I had to fight you again. All right, well, let's auto... Actually, let's reload the scatter gun. Rather, the pepper box, that's what it's called. Reload that thing. There we go. Gun this protean down. And once he gets low enough that he splits into two parts, we'll use the pepper box to kill both of his minions. Are we actually close enough to use it, though? That's the other question. Equip the pepper box. Fire. Out of range. Fire. There we go. Some dead proteans. We only have to worry about them once. And that is pretty awesome. So, that worked out quite well. Reload those guns. What do we got down here? We got a locker. Hopefully it has a nothing in it. <laughs> how'd I make how I mess that up? I had a pretty good odds on it, I thought. Oh well. It happens. Sometimes you mess up things that look pretty easy. We have a speed boost trap here, so we are gonna intentionally walk through that one. The red ones are definitely nice. That is actually one of the better traps you can potentially find. There are other positive ones, the ones that heal you, and there's another one that uh, recharges any uncharged items you have, or at least chooses one randomly and recharges it. So that's pretty nice as well, but we're not going to worry too much about those right now. Laser sword time! We missed, really? Laser sword time! Thank you. That was not so great. The damage is pretty good, given that it's a sword weapon, but it's not so amazing. Ah, that's okay. We'll just knife up some ravenous buildings, and hopefully they don't infect us with the berserk status so we don't start accidentally shredding everything in the room, because we do want to be able to use this thing at some point. I can really kill this guy, though, because he's damaging my armor. I don't know why I haven't. Yeah, those lasers are not fun. Alright, time to gun him down. One more shot should do it, and that will be the shot. There we go. Enemy down. I still haven't found any nano wire though, which is crazy. Alright, element X, more of that. Digital assistant, you'll help us get into this computer, potentially get some more interesting information. Here we go, we can decrypt the rest of this. It's probably not going to be too hard. 77% chance we might miss one word. We did. Ugh, that's why I hate the decryption system. It's so easy to miss a single word. <sighs> What does this say? System Administrator. Experiments using VN collector units to improve the retrievers are inconclusive. Recovery something, stored state, still unsuccessful due to substantial encryption on the stored algorithms. Recovery... I don't know what that says. Recovery on stored state? I don't know. Stinking words. Hiding from me, not letting me decode you into a nice, easily accessible thing. 
Soft screens are nice. They take up two slots in our inventory, but they let you make a very nice crafted item that helps you with your decryptions. So we might take some things to get that. What can we get rid of, though? That is always the question. What is worth getting rid of here? Nothing, really. I guess some of this rifle ammo, because we can't use it anyway. We'll dump... There we go. It's 200 rifle ammo on the ground in order to get some soft screens, which we're going to use for one thing, potentially, and then not long, no longer need. There's some more living steel. Where is, on the map, another lab station? It was way over there. We might be able to find another one closer. Potentially, we might be able to use the soft screens already. I don't know exactly what we need. Oh, hello. No, not good. That is a swamp creature. They're going to give us all kinds of diseases if they manage to touch us. So we're going to try and kill them without that happening. Die, you stinking swamp creature. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, please. Ah, no. Good, we didn't get any diseases yet. We're doing okay. Get out of here. That's what I said. Excellent. Now we can knife this Zool pup to death. Get. Get back to your cave. This is my secret repair lab bot storage facility. All right. Reload all of our various tools, and let's keep looking around. I don't think we're going to find the lab in the med bay, but we might. There's a cooker in here for some reason. That's interesting. Another thing worth noting, while many things can in fact be adaptoids, things that take up two spaces have never been an adaptoid to me, so they always seem more or less safe. So that's good to keep in mind. Alright, there is nothing else in here. We've finished off floor 15. We're halfway down the dungeon. Halfway through the pit. And that's pretty fantastic. But, we still are going to go and try and activate a lab station over here. Oh, hello. We want to maybe pick this up, too. Not sure about that one. Let's activate this med bay, see if we can get some health out of it. And... Yes, we do! Full health. Excellent. Can we potentially get the things we need? Probably not, but we're going to go see if we can get ourselves our Rosetta Brain here, is what we're looking for. Activate the lab. Rosetta Brain, are you active? Can I use you? No. What am I missing for the Rosetta Brain recipe? The Rosetta Brain is nice. Ah, more logic circuits. I need logic circuits, dang nabbit. Oh, I don't have hyper brain crystals either. Uh, okay, we're missing a bunch of things for the Rosetta Brain. I might not want to carry all these soft screens around then, but they are a fairly rare drop, so I'll probably just hold on to them just in case we manage to find those things later. Grab those shotgun shells as well. There was medical gear in here. I don't know if I really want this thing. Problem is, it's a huge inventory drain. We don't have a whole lot of inventory space. That's the problem with the scout. You don't get quite as many uh, might points as quickly as you do with the engineer. By now, we'd probably be at like 70, 60 or 70 for our might, which would give us a bit more space. Hmm. We have so many weapons, too, which kind of takes up a lot of room. And a lot of junk, too. I maybe want to get rid of these cyber connectors. I probably don't need those. Can I get rid of anything else in here? Potentially, yes. There's a ton of these serums and things that I would be able to get rid of if I could find any way to use them, but unfortunately I can't. I haven't gotten that lucky. We'll drop the living steel remnants. Those are pretty rare, but if they're not going to help us anyway, it doesn't do much to keep them. I need to keep the casing fragments because I also want to be able to make that quantum scan helmet at some point because that's a very nice item. And the chemical neutralizer will be useful if you ever get badly poisoned. These will be useful for keeping our laser sword active. I don't know, man. It's hard to say what we should get rid of. There's so many different things here. I guess we'll get rid of the stun grenades. Of all the different grenades we have, these are the least useful now because we are up to the point now where they don't do enough damage really to be effective. We need to get rid of one more item. One more item. I don't want to get rid of more ammo because if we ever find a gun that can use it, it'll be really useful, especially because we are getting very low on our other kinds of ammo. Oh man, fuel cells, I guess it is. I don't need you anymore. You can stay here. You're potentially useful, but since I have no guns that use you, I might as well clear out that slot. And we can take the Tarkin Field Surgery instead, which has the potential of keeping us alive. Which is much better than maybe being useful for a fuel source for a gun we won't have. Alright, hopefully we won't regret that. Let's keep looking, though. We are here at the exit of Floor 15, and this is where we're going to have to end our episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing through more of Sword of the Stars, The Pit, for you. If you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like on the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.